Hey guys, uh, welcome to a, another uh, lesson here on THSS technology. Uh, today we're going to be bringing an image into Photoshop, uh, removing the background, and resizing it. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, I have a uh, background I have uh, already created here in Photoshop, and I do have the layer locked. Um, next, I have already uh, uh, added an image to the clipboard, so let's paste that image into our current composition. So we're just going to go up to Edit, and paste. Hey there, R2. Um, next thing we notice, R2 is uh, clearly too large for the, uh, the current canvas we're working on, so let's scale him down. So if we go up to Edit, and then Free Transform, you'll notice the hotkey there for Free Transform is Control T, so let's click that now. We are going to get these boundary boxes around R2, and we're going to notice that uh, the current image is actually outside of our canvas. We want to make sure we scale that down. Um, now, when you're using the Free Transform tool, you do want to make sure that you keep the proportions correct. You don't want to make a tall and skinny R2 or a short and fat one. So we can do that by holding down the Shift key as we're scaling him up and down. Uh, don't worry about this exact sizing too much at the moment. Just make him big enough that he fits entirely on the frame. Uh, whenever you're done, let go, and then you can move him around and hit Enter to confirm your resizing. The next step is we are going to uh, remove that background. And for that, we are going to use the Magic Wand tool, fourth tool down on the left. So let's click on the Magic Wand tool. And uh, the Magic Wand tool works by selecting similar colors. Uh, we can adjust how picky the, to the, the values are for the selections by adjusting the tolerance value here. So for example, if I put that tolerance value up to 100 and select, uh, you'll notice actually that we are uh, it is being uh, not picky enough and we're actually going to be removing some of R2 with that selection. So let's control Z out of there, let's deselect. Let's put that tolerance value back to a more manageable level. 25 seems to work for this photo, but you'll have to adjust as needed. So I'm going to make a selection there. Let's hit the delete key to get rid of that. There, there, and just go around and uh, delete all the areas that uh, that you want to get rid of tiny section there. Let's delete that. Looking around, looks pretty good. Okay, so let's zoom back out and go back to our move tool. So clearly R2 is still far too large for the scene. So let's once again uh, shrink him down. So uh, we're going to go back to edit, free transform, or you could press control T. I'm going to click that. You see, we actually had a little mistake here, a very common mistake. I still had a selection down at the bottom, so let's hit Escape to clear that. You notice the little selection we have sitting down here. So we're going to go to Select, Deselect. The shortcut key is Control D, so we're going to click that. Zoom back out. And now let's try our Edit Free Transform. There we go, looking good. I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to scale R2 down. And I'm going to release when I'm happy with his sizing. Hit Enter to confirm. Uh, now, of course, scale is all relative to the location of your image in the photo. Uh, so up here at the front, R2 is looking to be a decent size, but if we were to move him back there, he is too large again. So just keep perspective in mind when you are scaling and sizing your objects. Um, last thing I'd recommend is to name your layers. Uh, that way you can keep things neat, clean, and organized. So let's double click on the layer name, and we'll call this R2, oops, R2D2. Hit Enter to confirm. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys later.